We're headed to Bermuda's westernmost tip to explore the island's biggest attraction, Dockyard. It's home to the island's largest cruise ship pier, and it's also packed with tons of shops, restaurants, and exciting attractions. There's actually so much to see and do, you can spend your entire vacation here. But if you have just one day to spend, I'll show you some must-see highlights. So put on a pair of comfortable walking shoes and get ready to go exploring as we spend the day in Dockyard. Looks like the shops are opening. Let's go check it out. The commanding clock tower is a stunning arcade of shops in a unique setting. The most discerning shopper is sure to find something appealing while strolling along the stone paved passages. If you're looking for island inspired apparel or gifts, you'll find them here, as well as unique boutiques, art galleries, and tempting treats. Just next door is Diamonds International. Bermuda's largest and most dazzling jewelry store, as well as making waves for surf gear and the Dockyard Pharmacy for healthcare products. Close by is Island Outfitters, your one-stop shop for island adventure, or practically anything else you might need. Many artisans also call Dockyard home. Just along the road from the Clock Tower Mall is the John Faulkner Gallery, where you'll find artistic ceramics. Skilled craftsmen at the Glassworks demonstrate their talent for creating functional glassware, as well as creative masterpieces. You can even try glass blowing yourself. Bermuda's famous rum cakes are also made here by expert bakers. Once you taste a sample, you're sure to want to take some home with you. Or get on over to Alex and Pete's Artisan Ice Cream and choose from their tempting Bermuda flavors. Mmm, delicious! In this area, you'll also find several delightful pop-up shops. A visitor information center and Locked on the Rock, a Bermuda-themed version of the escape room craze that's sweeping the globe. I think it's time for coffee and the pastry shop makes the best cappuccino on this side of the Atlantic. Even better, their pastries are baked fresh right here in our kitchen every day. No day old donuts here. Although the Royal Navy pulled out in the 1950s, this is still a working dockyard with a thriving yachting and boating community. You can learn all about the history of dockyard at the historical reenactment performed at the Vidling Yard two mornings a week. Take the walking tour that immediately follows the reenactment and discover even more about this fascinating 200-year-old former naval base. From here, you can go parasailing for an amazing bird's eye view of Bermuda, go deep sea fishing for marlin, tuna, or wahoo, charter a sailboat to explore the island, or my favorite, hop on a jet ski for some real speed on the water. If you've ever dreamed of swimming with dolphins, your dream can come true right here at Dolphin Quest, located within the walls of the National Museum of Bermuda. Dolphin Quest offers encounters where you can swim, touch, and even kiss a dolphin, an unforgettably fun and inspiring experience. When it's time for lunch, there are tons of restaurant choices right here in Dockyard, including this unique pub, the Frog and Onion. It's located in a 200-year-old naval cooperage, which is where they used to build and repair kegs, barrels, and casks. So in keeping with its naval history, there's a microbrewery right here on site. So in addition to some fantastic pub grub, you'll get a creative and certainly one of the biggest beers in Bermuda. If you want to eat where the locals eat, choose the Anchor Restaurant. Its fish sandwiches are legendary among Bermudians. The Bonefish Bar and Grill has an award-winning chef and a fabulous patio with stunning views. While the family-style restaurant, Cafe Michi, serves delicious pasta and other Italian favorites. And for fresh-caught fish and other local dishes, try Woody's. Some of the restaurants even offer afternoon entertainment. Well, it's time to walk off that lunch. And fortunately, you never know what type of history you might uncover as you walk through Bermuda's trails, parks, and peaceful green spaces. 
Now this is one of my favorite places in all of Bermuda, just to sit and relax. And the best part is, it's just a few minutes outside of Dockyard's gates. It doesn't get much better than this. Beautiful view, a cool breeze in my face. There's no place I'd rather be. Black Bay Beach is a little gem where locals like to hang out. In the summer, you can rent a kayak or walk along the shoreline to the fascinating sea glass beach. Walk through this tunnel and you'll find Dockyard's Fun Zone. At the snorkel park, you can lounge on a day bed, relax on the pink sand beach, or take a dip in the warm, calm water. But if you want to get more active, there's also snorkeling, paddle boats, kayaks, water slides, and beach volleyball. You could even golf here in Dockyard by putting your way around the globe. Fun Golf is an oceanfront miniature golf course that has recreated 18 of the world's most challenging holes, like this one, number 12 from Augusta National. Another exciting attraction is Friday's Trampoline Park, where kids can have so much fun. By the way, you don't have to walk around Dockyard to see all these fantastic attractions. You can cruise around on your own two wheels by renting a Segway. You can travel in a more traditional manner by renting a bicycle or ride in comfort aboard a trolley style train. The train makes a continuous loop around all the major Dockyard attractions and it's free to ride. So hop on and off at any of the stops. There's good news. If you've rented electric Twizy, you can charge it right here in Dockyard. You can also stay right here in the Dockyard. Prince Alfred Terrace is an historic Oceanside property built in 1840 to house English naval officers. Recently, it has been tastefully updated and completely renovated to create 10 three-bedroom residences. With fully equipped kitchens and large living areas, the residences are perfect for groups, singles, or families. Visit PrinceAlfredTerrace.com for details. Well, it's four o'clock, but there's still enough time in the day to enjoy a few cultural and historical attractions. The British Royal Navy established the Royal Naval Dockyard after defeat in the American War of Independence. Its purpose was to create a massive fortification and stronghold for the Royal Navy to ensure British dominance of the Western Atlantic. You can learn all about Dockyard and 500 years of local history right here at the National Museum of Bermuda. The Bermuda Transport Museum covers more recent history with its vintage motorcycles, cars, boats, and historic carriages. The wonderful old rooms of the Cooperage make an appropriate setting for the craft market. On sale is a fascinating selection of locally made products such as cedar items, handcrafted jewelry, painted clothes, books, prints, and delicious Bermuda-made condiments. Many of the products are made right in front of your eyes. Nearby is the Art Center, where you'll see works by the island's most accomplished artists. Some pieces are available for sale, and if the kids want to run around while you browse, there's a wonderful playground right opposite. And when the sun goes down, Dockyard keeps on going. The very latest blockbuster movies play here at the Neptune Cinema. The pubs and bars come to life, the dining is outstanding, and amazing island entertainment and parties can be found throughout Dockyard. My day in Dockyard's been a blast, and yet there's so much more to do. You know what? I think I'll be back tomorrow. Visit DockyardBermuda.com or follow us on social media. See you in Dockyard soon.